What's up, NLC Live? I am Nate from Clarksville. Today, we're going to be checking out uh, Romans chapter 12, the first three verses. So let's read it. It says, Therefore, I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment. In accordance with the measure of faith God has given you. Now, there's so much to unpack in this. We don't have a lot of time, so let's just get right in. Uh, in view of God's mercy means while God's mercy is fresh in your life. If God's done something in your life, you offer your body as a living sacrifice. That means you go out and you live it out in your everyday world. And then this whole do not conform thing, that means just don't go with the flow. Don't go with the pattern of the world. How? Be transformed by renewing your mind. Some of it sometimes starts right here. Your, your, your thinking, your perspective, all of that it has to shift and it has to change in order for you to go in a new direction. And as you do that, man, what you find is you find that you're transformed. You really are changed. You're changed. And only then are you able to test and approve what God's will is in your life. It means you can figure it out because your mindset is different. You've been changed to look like Him and you're living it out in your every day world and then this last verse this third verse man it challenges us big time not to think of ourselves above and beyond really where we should but to walk and to live in humility which doesn't mean diminishing ourselves it means man living out to our full potential but realizing what that really looks like uh, in comparison to God's incredible goodness and his love and his mercy for us and we do it all it says in accordance with with a measure of faith. So this this amount of faith that what? That God has given you. God, he's, he's giving you the faith you need to put all of this into action in your life. That's it. Like, man, that's incredible. There's no questioning that. God has given it to you already. All you have to do is realize that up here, let that engage this, and it begins to play out. And you live it out and your life is changed. It's not conformed anymore to the pattern of this world, but it's transformed. Amen. Let's pray. God, you're awesome. Thank you for uh, challenging us with this today. And Lord, I do pray that you would help us to be obedient in this. God, help us to just to, to walk this out, to not conform anymore, not to go with the flow, to see, uh, just to be caught up in the things around us, but to really authentically pursue you to offer our lives in service to you and to see the change that you uh, want to give us as a result of that. We thank you for it, Jesus. Amen. Hey, thanks for hanging out today.